Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Current Affairs MCQs. Let's start with previous day's practice question. The question was Sometimes seen in the news, the Patriot air defense missile system is developed by which of the following? Raytheon Missiles and Defense, Lockheed Martin Corporation, Israel Aerospace Industries Limited, or Moda Intelligence. The correct answer is option A, Raytheon Missiles and Defense. Recently, the Pentagon said that it will deploy additional Patriot air defense missile system battalions to the Middle East in response to recent attacks on US troops in the region. The Patriot stands for Phased Array Tracking Radar for Intercept on Target. It is an all-weather surface-to-air missile defense system to counter tactical ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, and advanced aircraft. It was developed by Raytheon, an American multinational aerospace and defense conglomerate. It is in service with the US and allied countries, including Germany, Greece, Israel, Japan, Kuwait, the Netherlands, Saudi Arabia, South Korea, Poland, Sweden, Qatar, the United Arab Emirates, Romania, Spain, and Taiwan. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Let's begin today's session. First question is, consider the following statements regarding the Pragati platform. 1. It is designed by Prime Minister's office with the help of National Informatics Center. 2. It was launched in 2017. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2? The correct answer is option A, 1 only. Recently, the Prime Minister took a meeting of the 43rd edition of Pragati, that is Proactive Governance and Timely Implementation. This platform is a multi-purpose and multi-model platform that is aimed at addressing common men's grievances and simultaneously monitoring and reviewing important programs and projects of the Government of India, as well as projects flagged by state governments. It is designed in-house by the PMO team with the help of the National Informatics Centre, hence Statement 1 is correct. The platform was launched on March 25, 2015, hence Statement 2 is not correct. It is also a robust system for bringing e-transparency and e-accountability with real-time presence and exchange among the key stakeholders. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Next question is, consider the following statements regarding the martial art form, Vajra Mushti Kalaga. 1. The winner of this martial art form is the one who draws the blood from the head of the opponent first. 2. It is popular throughout Tamil Nadu. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2? The correct answer is option A, one only. Recently, the martial art from Vajra Mushti Kalaga was seen in the news regarding its extinction and takes place only during the Shara. It is a unique martial art form that incorporates various techniques of hand-to-hand -hand combat like grappling, wrestling and striking. Whoever draws the blood from the opponent's head first is declared the winner, hence statement one is correct. This form of wrestling was popular during the period of the Vijayanagar rulers who reigned between the 14th and 17th centuries. It is practiced currently in Mysuru Palace, Karnataka during the Shehra celebrations. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. The next question is, consider the following statements regarding the United Nations Forum on Forest. 1. It was established in 2000. 2. India is not a member. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option C, both 1 and 2. The Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change is organizing a country-led initiative event as part of the United Nations Forum on Forest from 26 to 28 October 2023 at the Forest Research Institute, Dehradun, Uttarakhand. The UNFF promotes the management, conservation and sustainable development of all types of forest. It was established in 2000 by the UN Economic and Social Council of the United Nations. Hence, Statement 1 is correct. India is a founding member of UNFF, hence, Statement 2 is not correct. The forum has universal membership and is composed of all member states of the United Nations and specialized agencies. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. The next question is, recently seen in the news, the Vikram 1 rocket is developed by which of the following? Defense Research and Development Organization, Skyroot Aerospace, National Technical Research Organization or BAE Systems. The correct answer is option B, Skyroot Aerospace. Recently, the Indian firm Skyroot Aerospace unveiled its indigenously built Vikram 1 rocket. Vikram 1, named after the father of India's space program, Vikram Sarabhai, 
is a multi-stage launch vehicle with the capacity to place around 300 kg of payloads in low Earth orbit. It has been built by Hyderabad-based Skyroot Aerospace, a space startup. It is an all-carbon fiber body rocket that can place multiple satellites into orbit. Being a solid fuel rocket and using relatively simpler technologies would mean that launching this vehicle would require minimal infrastructure. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. The next question is, Recently, a new species of frog named Alcalis fontanellis has been discovered from which of the following tiger reserves in India? Namdafa Tiger Reserve, Melgha Tiger Reserve, Bandipur Tiger Reserve or Simlipal Tiger Reserve? The correct answer is option A, Namdafa Tiger Reserve. Recently, researchers have discovered a new species of frog named Alcalis fontanellis in the northeast Indian state of Arunachal Pradesh. It was discovered in the Namdafa Tiger Reserve, Arunachal Pradesh. The frog appeared to be a mix of a bush frog and a water frog. It was formerly named Alcalis fontanellis, meaning spring or fountain, referencing the tiny streams or brooks where the frog was found. The new species stands out from its congeners due to a unique combination of morphological features. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. The next question is, sometimes seen in the news, what is the IUCN status of Indian porcupine? Vulnerable, nearly threatened, endangered or least concern? The correct answer is option D, least concern. Recently, a male tiger was found dead at Kazu Dikhatti stream in the Tirupur forest division located in Tamil Nadu due to injuries sustained in a fight with porcupine. It is a large rodent native to southern Asia and the Middle East. It belongs to the old world porcupine family, History CD. It is found throughout Southeast and Central Asia and in parts of the Middle East, including such countries as India, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, Israel and Saudi Arabia. The IUCN status of the Indian porcupine is least concern. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. The next question is, consider the following statements regarding the sea cucumber. 1. They are found in deep sea environments. 2. They live on the ocean floor. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2, or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option B, 2 only. Recently, the officials from the Indian Coast Guard and the Customs Department arrested four men who were allegedly in possession of sea cucumber and raw turmeric. This species is a part of a larger animal group called echinoderms and is invertebrates that lives on the sea floor. They are found in all marine environments throughout the world, from shallow to deep sea environments. Hence, statement 1 is not correct. These are benthic, meaning they live on the ocean floor. Hence, statement 2 is correct. They excrete inorganic nitrogen and phosphorus, enhancing the productivity of benthic biota. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. The next question is, recently seen in the news, the Ayurveda for One Health campaign is an initiative of which of the following ministries? Ministry of Chemicals and Fertilizers, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Ministry of Ayush, or Ministry of Science and Technology. The correct answer is option C, Ministry of Ayush. Recently, the Ministry of Ayush informed that the farmers across the country are being continuously linked with the Ayurveda for One Health campaign of Ayurveda Day. Farmers will be the major participants in the Ayurveda Day event on 10th November 2023. A nationwide campaign is being run to connect farmers with Ayurveda Day through NMPB, that is National Medicinal Plants Board. The main event of Ayurveda Day is scheduled to be held on 10th November 2023 at Panchkula, Chandigarh, Haryana. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. The next question is, consider the following statements regarding the gir cow. 1. The color of their body is red to spotted white. 2. The average gir cow milk production is 6 to 10 liters per day. Which of the following statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option C, both 1 and 2. Recently, there were concerns that instead of improving the quality of all the indigenous breeds, as envisioned under the Rashtriya Gokul mission, it has ended up promoting only one indigenous variety, the Gir cow, across the country. The Gir cow is a famous Indian-born dairy cattle breed. Gir's cattle native tract is Gir Hills and forest of Kathiawar. This includes Gujarat districts of Amareli, Bhavnagar, Junagadh and Rajkot. The color of their body is red to spotted white, although with large red spots, their body color may vary from pure red to yellowish red to white. Hence, statement 1 is correct. The average gir cow milk production is 6 to 10 liters per day. Hence, statement 2 is correct. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. 
लास्ट क्वेश्चन इज कंसीडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट रिगार्डिंग द ऑटोमेटेड परमानेंट अकेडमिक अकाउंट रजिस्ट्री वन इट इज पार्ट ऑफ द वन नेशन वन स्टूडेंट आई डी इनिशिएटिव ऑफ द यूनियन गवर्नमेंट टू इट एम्स टू रिड्यूस फ्रॉड एंड डुप्लीकेट एजुकेशनल सर्टिफिकेट्स बाई प्रोवाइडिंग अ सिंगल ट्रस्टेड रेफरेंस फॉर एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन विच ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट्स गिवन अबव इज आर करेक्ट वन ओनली टू ओनली बोथ वन इन टू और नीदर वन नॉट टू द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी बोथ वन इन टू Recently the several state governments requested schools to seek parental consent for the creation of new student identity card known as the automated permanent academic account registry a par which stands for automated permanent academic account registry is envisioned as a special id system for all students in india starting from childhood this is part of the one nation one student id initiative of the union government stemming from the new national education policy of 2020 hence statement 1 is correct A par also aims to reduce fraud and duplicate educational certificates by providing a single trusted reference for educational institutions. Hence, statement two is correct. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Now it's time for the practice question. The question is: Sometimes seen in the news, the meteor missile is manufactured by which of the following? Lockheed Martin Corporation, MBDA Systems, Thales Group, or RTX Corporation? send the answer to this question in the comment section stay tuned for the next episode thanks for watching have a great day